my channel. It is December 17th and I'm doing this holiday tutorial for you. I have in mind sort of Christmas Eve, holiday evening makeup look. That's what I had going on for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will get right into this tutorial. Ready, set, go. I primed my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Champagne. It provides a really shimmery base that helps the eyeshadows blend really well. The first color in the palette that I'm going to be using is the MFEO shade. I'm using a large fluffy brush from Wet n Wild and I'm applying quite a bit of it. And the area that I'm focusing on is that crease and we're going to build with that cooler transition color. I'm starting with the eyes so that the fallout doesn't go everywhere and I'm dragging this product into the crease. Just wanted to get a little heads up of what I'm doing here. I'm really packing it on the outer corner and dragging. Using a big fluffy brush like this really allows the product to distribute really easily. I'm using a color switch so I can just dust off the product on um, the brush and keep using the same brush for the lighter colors. When I'm doing a makeup look, I always have two of the bigger fluffy brushes, one for lighter shadows and one for darker shadows. The next color I'm going to use is Pooter. I have a good amount here on the brush and I'm going to just go over that same area with this darker color and keeping it more focused even so on the outer corner and I'm keeping the shadow low. With no product pretty much left on the brush, I'm just making sure that I blend the upper crease area really, really well. The next color I'm going for is Buns. Tapping off any extra, and then just packing it on the outer corner. I'm starting off with a big fluffy brush with this one, but then I'm going to concentrate the color more with a smaller brush. But I'm just kind of getting a little bit of the color in the area to begin with because this is gonna be, we want a really dark crease. The next brush I'm gonna use looks like this, and it's gonna be for bun. The brush is a bit stiffer, but it will be good for packing the product like, like such. And I'm keeping it just in this crease line. If you don't have a crease line too much, you know, you just gotta get creative, you know? That's what makeup is for, am I right? I'm bringing the dark color to the top center of my eyeball, essentially. Going back with my fluffy brush to really just blend that a bit more, keeping it the blending motions mostly downward. Next color, I'm going to be using Chip with that same dunce brush. You only need a tiny little bit of product. I'm keeping it really, really, really low and in this outer corner. Using a clean brush now, I'm just going to blend only in that area using small little circular motions really lightly. All of these cooler pink tones that I'm using right now to set the base for this look is essential. Now I'm gonna be using the color Jax on the brush I just used to blend. I'm picking up a fair amount of pigment on the brush. There will be lots of fallout. And this one I'm gonna do on the center of my lid to the upper part of my crease and to the corner and that's it. I'm gonna try to not overlap too much with the chip. Because this one is so pigmented, I'm just gonna get off some of that excess. And then I'm gonna blend it, but up and down. I'm blending it up and down because I don't want the color to go too much toward the inner corner. Picking up a clean, smaller packing brush, I'm going to use the shade Mocha. This one I'm gonna be applying lower on my lid, at my lash line almost, and to the inner corner, and keeping it relatively on just the lid and not the crease. This is gonna be creating a base for the green. Using that same small dense packing brush, I'm going in with the shade Enchanted. And I'm putting Enchanted right over where I just put that brown shade. I'm dragging the brush down to keep that vertical division point. Bringing the red back a bit with some more jacks. Got the color off this brush really well, and I'm going to try to get some more of this blended right there. I'm going to use the shade Pukey just on the upper part of my creases. What this is going to do is kind of draw everything together a little bit. Using any other flat brush, I mean you could even use that dense packing brush if you can get enough of the product off. I'm going to go into the shade 24-7. I'm getting a good healthy amount of that on my brush. Spray some, woo! Setting spray on it to get it wet. I like to do that with all of my metallics. And I'm applying this all over that brown cranberry side. Mostly staying beneath the crease. Actually, I'm going to see how this applies with a ring finger. I actually kind of like that a little bit better. So it gives you just a little more control of where you're putting it. So I put that all over the red color. I love this 24-7 shade. It is just so beautiful. I'm making sure I'm getting right on the top of my eyeball in the center. 
Right now the look is looking really dark, but I promise it's gonna start coming back towards the light, especially once I clean up the under eye, like yikes. Having a flat brush like this is so handy for when you're applying any kind of metallic. Sometimes I use a washcloth to help get off some excess pigment. It works really well. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Diva. I'm gonna try using this brush, but I may end up switching to my finger. Apply a little bit more setting spray to it. And where do you think I'm gonna be applying Diva? Right on top of the green. Oh girl, living for this shade right now. This is way pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna kind of use this to drag it up there so it doesn't get muddied and then kind of brush my brush off. That way we don't get this darker color into the inner corner because I want to bring back a little bit more of the cranberry. I'm gonna use the shade Cran Apple. Do the same thing with the flat brush. Fairly decent amount of product on the brush. With this color, I'm keeping it on the outside center of my lid and I'm keeping it low. So we don't want it to get into the crease too much. I'm gonna use just a little bit of the sissy shade. I can use my pinky finger to apply it just to where the red is in the center of the eye. Sissy is a lighter like highlight shade, but it has a very gold pink undertone, so it plays really well with the cranberry. And so that we're not moving the color around, I'm just gonna be staying in a direction like such, and then dusting it off and then going back at the lower point. Now to blend the more cool tone, green part. I'm going to use the shade Obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? I'm going to put it on a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it right there. I'm going to leave out the center of the eye so I'm not going to go onto the eyelid too much. I actually ended up needing to grab a different brush because I really don't want to mess up the eyeshadow in the palette. I'm going to go back in with the shade Pooter and I'm going to use that on the top of my crease to blend things a bit. Tap off some excess. I'm going to start on the outside and go towards the center. And once there's not much product left, then go towards this part. This is not my favorite blending brush. It's a bit scratchy and it doesn't do the best job, but it'll do, it'll do. I'm gonna clean up those on the eyes. Hot tip, when you use your makeup wipe to get off your fallout, you're gonna leave a little bit of residue. So I usually rinse that off and then afterwards I go in with an eye cream and I apply it then rather than having put it on earlier and then have it just wash off. Because this way, your under eyes are gonna be super hydrated and ready for concealer. This is the primer I'm gonna use. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I obs obsess. And I only have a tiny little bit left. I'm gonna start with towards my under eyes because if you didn't know, you need to set this area with some hydration, especially if you have dry skin. And I'll move the product from there. For the primer, I usually use about two pumps this size. I'll do one on the bottom half of my face and then the other on the top. Now we're moving to the realm of foundation. I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Ivory. And to apply it, I'll be using my Morphe E31 brush. I usually pump the foundation onto the back of my hand and then I go in with the brush and then put it to my face. A little bit goes a long way. But we're doing the most today. We're gonna get a very full coverage look going on. And with this brush, I like to be able to pack it into my skin because this foundation, I want it to get in there really well. <laughs> this is a cute look, right? But I like to work in sections with my foundation, especially with foundations that dry fairly quickly like this one, so that you have time ooh, to get the product where you want it. I personally like to do my brows after my foundation because I get all up in there because I want it to look flawless. Flawless. With this foundation, I find that if you use a Real Technique sponge or some sort of beauty sponge after you apply it, like right after you apply it, it helps pick up any excess. So it's not just sitting on the skin looking, looking funky. And I'm actually gonna go in and put a bit of powder on my face really quick, even before I go in with my concealer, but obviously I'm just gonna stay away from where I'm gonna put my concealer. Because with this foundation, girl, you gotta set that quick. The powder I'm using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, and I believe the shade is Warm Light. It's gonna Plopping that on there. This is a fairly good dupe for MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Now I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light. I'm gonna be applying this up into the corner of my eye and all the way down like this. Anytime that I'm doing a look that has more of a blue or cool toned eye look, since I have such dark under eyes, I wanna make sure that I use a gold concealer that has more of a yellow tone to it. By doing that, it counteracts it. And I'm just, you know, dabbing that in with my Real Techniques. Sponge. Because I'm a little extra, I'm gonna apply just a little bit more to really minimize the dark circles under my eyes for this look specifically. 
I like the Real Technique sponge because you can really get up on your lower lid. And then just like the foundation, you want to set this so quick. And I'm going to set it using a tapered M438 brush. And I would be using a translucent powder, like the RMCA No Color Powder, but I don't have it, so I'm just gonna use what I was using before, the Wet n' Wild color. It will do, it won't be the perfect baking powder, but it'll, it'll do enough. The color switch is not only just great for eyeshadows, but it also is really good for getting stuff off these kinds of brushes as well. You pat it in without the product on the brush once you've dusted it off, and then you dust and sweep. So that part I just baked within like, um, like I didn't truly bake it. I did a quick bake. Easy bake oven style. Now I'm gonna do my chin and my nose with the powder as well. And my forehead because I get creasy. Brush it off my face after I kind of pat it in. I'm just gonna get it right, get it tight. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because that could just be its own video in itself, to be honest. So I'm just gonna use Anastasia Brow is in Dark Brown and the Dip Brow Pomade in Granite. Just a very smidge of this, but it's just to match the color of my hair. And I'm gonna set it with this brow gel from Anastasia as well, and this is an espresso, so we're using three different colors. I didn't press the record button again after I did my brows, so I'm just gonna fill you in with what I did to get my face like this. I went in with a very subtle cool tone contour, and then I went in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. For blush, I used a combination of these two colors. First, I applied just a teeny tiny bit of this hot pink color from the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette and then a bit of Amaretto. And I put Amaretto just underneath it and blended it out really well. And I'll show you those brushes in a hot second. These two are crucial for my blushes because I have naturally really rosy cheeks, so I'm pretty conscious about how much blush I'm putting on. I used this brush for applying it and sort of blending it just subtly. And then I went in with a bit of a heavier hand and buffed it out with this brush from Morphe the E44. The bronzer, I just used the short stubby fat brush. Just, I always use. All right, we're almost caught up to where I'm at right now. I took these two eyeshadow brushes. First, I used the thicker one, and then I'm gonna be using the thinner one. I used Pooter and Pukey on my lower lash line slash lower lid. And then I used a fluffy brush and blended out a bit. I'm gonna use the shade MFEO again and I'm gonna put that very, un just like right underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna go in with the light shade as a brow bone highlight. And I'm just using a, like a stiff, flat brush for this part. Ooh, girl. A little bit of color goes a long way. I'm gonna blend that a bit, just a bit, because it is so intense. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use a combination of In Light and the other shade Beam that's right next to it. Girl, get you some of the fire. Inner corner highlight for the win. Oh, and I forgot I put highlight on, like clearly, that's champagne pop. I'm gonna try going in with a teeny bit of the diva shade on my lower lash line, just like a tiny bit. Oh yeah, I like that, okay. And I'm applying it on the other side of my eye, on the opposite side of where the green is. Oh, powder in my eye. I'm gonna go in with a really nude lip, so I'm gonna use Dolce K from Kylie as a lip liner. And to top it off, I'm gonna use the Kylie So Cute Lip Gloss. I'm gonna apply it in the center. And I just patted it in with my finger. Now time to set the face. When I set my face, I tend to go in with my sponge and just kind of pick up any extra droplets. I'm gonna let that sit for a second and I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the finished look. I had a ton of fun filming it today. It's something that you can rock on Christmas Eve with your family or if you're going out. Also, I had intended it to be something very wintry, something that could be good for all winter evening wear, sort of, you know? Let me know in the comments below if there's a specific makeup look you would like me to do a tutorial on because I would be more than happy to. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace. Tell the color's pigmented. I just slammed my shoulder into it. Wait, wait. We're back, back, back tracking up. Okay. Back, back, back tracking up. The corner of the ATO. And this is the finished look. I had a lot of creat 